thick. That's when I go through in a while. Yeah. today sunny thought it was a good opportunity to uh, do a little clip today got my neighbor over here sawing with his sawmill a couple of logs I sawed or cut up for him this were pretty well all my a few saw logs I do cut but this is where they come then I sent send the uh, stud wood to the sawmill but uh, for for all I cut I get the odd nice log so my neighbor Todd gets most of them plus another buddy of mine up the road Jason he gets some of them anyway today also is firewood uh, last video one of the last videos I shot the uh, I guess the last video I shot uh, all, all this wood has came in. You remember, I had the rows right, this second row, this first row here, right up to, right up to these couple of sticks here, right up to the end. It was just a perfect bunch of wood. So we're chewing away at these, this wood pile now. So I don't, I think I better do another little. Intro here how I do this. It's been a while since I had uh, i done fire uh, firewood video um, Just to show you everything I the Equipment I have um, And how I go about it Obviously truck and dump trailer and Over here this pile of wood is the little wood processor and this little thing, I'm telling you, for what it is, it'll go do a lot of wood. Little, an old Palax 35, it's all manual. There's a stick in there. Get that in there. But I have to pull this lever here for my four-way knife. This one here for my saw blade to come down. I call this my workout machine. You run four cords, pull four cord through this machine here in a day. You can feel it in your arms and your chest and everywhere because you're just pulling levers all day. It's a good little workout. So uh, yeah, my workout machine. So yeah, got the rack here. I got it loaded up here. I got kind of a mess going on here today. I'll, I think this is all going to get cleaned up today. But this, I got about a cord here on the rack. Uh, my old wood trailer, you've seen that in videos before, a little old primary loader on it. This whole thing is about 40 years old or 45 years old, but it keeps on doing the job. So, so this will kind of keep me busy for a while. I kind of usually I'll load the rack, load the trailer. Anything extra just gets thrown on the ground here, and then I just sit here and then I just chuck it on the rack as I need it. And I can go, well, there's probably two and a half cord of wood here, two a good two cord anyway, two and a, two and a third or something like that. So, yeah. So 
So I'll, I'll set you up here in a couple spots and we'll just run some wood through. This is a saw and wood saw and lumber saw and firewood day. Also, one thing I want to explain what I do here. Uh, I hate with a passion wasting wood and you get the odd stick, you know, what's if it's cut, you know, too long or whatever or, or too short, you you get that short piece in the end or whatever or sometimes a long piece and have to junk it to then you get two short pieces that I mean, if you're doing 16 inch wood it just it's uh, a little uh, I don't I don't like I like to send 16 inch wood when I send 16 inch wood I don't want to send little blocks all through it and, and whatever so I know a lot of guys will have you know they'll just cut cookies to make 16 inch make it 16 inches then you got this little cookie in the end um, I don't do that actually this I have a rejects what I call my rejects bin right here I got it set up in the middle here um, and it's just the garbage little trashy rotten stuff and I'll just burn that in the garage but that's it this rejects bin has been here for all of last year and then I think from here up is this year it's pretty near full now but that's all the waste I I get and the odd you know the odd cookie but if your woods cut right which mostly it's cut here we the processors cut uh, 8 foot 4 instead 8 foot they'll cut it 8 foot 4 because that's their stud length and it's just a preset in their machine they don't want to so they just cut it all eight foot four. So it gives you three 16 inch sticks and then a long stick in the end. 18 to 20 inch stick in the end. And uh, this is what this pile here is all about. I do roughly probably 40 core to 20 inch firewood, furnace wood every year. And the last stick off of every eight foot stick goes in this pile and when I get enough when I get enough I'll throw it on which I pretty near got enough for a load here plus I have some I'm chucking the rest in that blue bin over there so I have all this by the end of the day, add more to this by the end of the day, I should have a pannier load. So instead of taking that 20 inch stick or 18 inch stick and cutting a cookie off the end of it to make it a 16 inch stick, I pile this off to the side. And when I get enough for a load, it goes to my furnace wood people. Yeah, so anyway, I'm going to uh, stop yakking and get to work here.
this was this is what happens when you're uh, sometimes get busy and forget about what you're doing and this happened today I, uh, I was having so much fun running the wood through I usually do cord and a half loads which is this trailer full to the top of the boards my greedy boards here so cord and a half loose and pretty near every load like I do is a cord and I'm a little winded here from swinging the axe and having fun here um, cord and a half to the top of the greedy boards is usually a load needless to say this needs to be a cord not a cord and a half this load so I have to get in and level things out and chuck things around to uh, to do uh, a cord not a cord and a half so here we go fun when you uh, got to make more work for yourself here but uh, we're gonna run the last bit through here and uh, then he says cord off here we go some of you guys that do this all the time say I'm just gonna run a quick cord through I'll have that done a certain amount of time then I'm gonna do this and that and that was probably the longest cord I ever did in my life a making the mistake of piling all that wood up front and then forgetting about what I was doing and having to chuck it all back but I had a chain fly off when it flew off I could caught between the stick and bent a bent the chain on the chain or bent the ch a chain link on the chain I had to go fix that and then since I fixed that I said well I might as well grind it and sharpen it and since I do that I might as well top up the oil from the processor so you know I know all that stuff needs done but just funny when you start a project is going to run a cord, quick cord off quick cord turns into a couple of hours where it should only take less than an hour Anyway, a little bit of little bit of sawing, lumber sawing, a little bit of wood processing today. Uh, after this load, I'm going to continue doing firewood for the rest of the day. I got a couple more. I got this will finish off in one one order, and uh, I'll continue on with a new one. Anyway, signing off. You guys all have a great day, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Remember. Thank you, Logger. <laughs>